You ready? Yes. All set. Ones are here. Say in Shanghai, there's a lot to do. Finish packing, cancel internet, get a car to go to the airport. Shanghai is crying for us actually. So canceling internet, something that should be fairly easy. I need to jump from department to department trying to figure out where do I need to do it. And that forces me to run around the city like a madman. But hopefully I'll get it done today. Um, still need to cancel bank accounts, still need to cancel a lot of stuff and give back the keys for the house, back to the landlord. So I'll, I'll be rushing a little bit, but let me drop you some images of what happens in the last day before leaving the most populated city on earth. Cheers. is done it took them an hour almost an hour and a half to finalize or cancel my contract it's really complicated for us foreigners to deal with these services because most of the workers don't speak a word of English so we need to use rely on translators and Google Translate at the same time we need to always present the old passport so my passport is falling into pieces it's really old it's the, the password that i used to to activate the service and that's the one that i need to bring back to make sure that the service is cancelled as well um but thank god it's dealt with now i need to run we still need to do a covid test uh the nose swab so that we are able to board the plane later it's a packed day uh just a little bit of excitement for the last day in shanghai Woo. Let's go. Are you excited? incredible how in a city like Shanghai with 20 million people riding a bike is still the most effective transportation method and fastest and safe you can swim the deep blue sea we could cross every desert and come back again we could go any distance to chase down every dream we could reach all the stars but in the end I know where we belong I know a place Never forget what happened. We're not done yet, and a few hours to go. Boys, check this video in 20 years. I'll put a reminder for it. Checking, getting Shake Shack in Shanghai. 2031. I'll notice it. Yeah, just come back in 20 years and you'll have uh, Shake Shack here in the same place. You could still play. I'll put that in the calendar. Yeah, the calendar. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years. Right. 
All right, that is it. I think we took care of everything. Um, we have everything packed. Uh, the paintings are out. We've packed everything we can. The only thing that we still need to deal with are the cats, put them in the carrier, uh, grab a car and go to the airport. I hope you enjoyed it. This, I hope you enjoyed these last few videos, the last few moments in Shanghai. I would like to continue this session showing you how to how are we adapting to life back in Europe. Uh, culturally, we will have a culture shock, definitely. Uh, the, the lifestyle is going to be completely different. We, we, are, we have been living in Shanghai for a long time, so we got used to this uh, hustle and bustle, and I believe that Luxembourg is going to be a little bit different. I'll continue doing these videos and show you how we are adapting to life in Luxembourg and how uh, are we building up our family there. Meanwhile, I'm trying to relax a little bit before grabbing the car, having my last drop of like a volume, um, just emptied the bottle, um, trying to uh, relax a little bit before this adventure, which will be to take the, the little kittens uh, our little cats to the airport and dealing with the flight and all that. Um, anyway, all good. Cheers. Hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. This was insane. here that was a tough ride these little fellas were not happy <laughs>